My name is Adina Seleskovic, and I'm a Bosnian-born New York-based artist. My practice has changed over the years and it has transformed from being a sculptor and a painter to somebody who is doing large public installations and somebody who is really trying to inspire a dialogue between the audience and the artist. I install large public installations where the public is. I don't expect them to come to me, I go to them. I also try to use new technologies in order to inspire this dialogue. I try to make it interactive, I try to make it really understandable, and I try to use symbols that are global and universal for all of us. My practice really started when I graduated from the Corcoran School of Art in 1999. But doing public art installations really happened when I returned after living in the United States for over 20 years to my native Bosnia. And I realized that art here is not just about the art world. It is really something that can inspire a transition. They can find a language of new pride and new identity for an entire nation. So that's why since 2010 and 2011, 2012 and on and on and on. I keep working on really employing art as something that can inspire a whole nation to think about itself and the world differently. Everything inspires me. <laughs> I really try to talk to young people. I try to get them to collaborate with me to create things together. And I find that young people are those with new and different ideas and they have a new way of looking at the world. So I talk to young artists in every city I travel. I have them design installations with me and I have them collaborate, add their own expression to what we do together. A distance 2021 ag exhibiting Project Think Freedom that originated in Sarajevo in 2015 really as my answer to censorship that I experienced in this country. Since then, it has traveled to 12 cities around Europe and it will continue traveling, um, trying to answer one question, what does freedom mean to us? And maybe in this time of the pandemic, that question is more significant and more important than ever before. But what I realized is that our freedom is so fragile and I believe that if we don't talk about it, if we don't think about it, and if we don't cherish it, we will lose it. The theme of distance this year is really significant and it really talks about how can we be together even when we're apart. So it will be amazing to see the installation Think Freedom from a distance. It will be the first time that we'll see this installation without being there. I will see it <laughs> over time and I will see it over many, many miles apart. Um, I think that our distance today is really a challenge, but also an opportunity for us to look at our world in a different way. I really liked the theme Distance 2021, and I really like the fact that the art is not canceled, <laughs> that art is continuing, and that we are continuing to talk about subjects that are important to us. That's why I applied. People can find out more about Think Freedom and other installations through uh, digital platforms, including thinkfreedom.com, uh, including Instagram and Facebook. Um, look for us, um, edinaseleskovic.com.